Hey guys, it's Vic. How you doing? A lot of people send me uh, questions and comments about abs, diet, body fat, and I wanted to address them. Uh, sometimes somebody will send me an email that suggests that they're already at a relatively low body fat, but they're having a hard time seeing their abs. And I often say that when you're already at about 8 or 9% body fat, if you're having a challenge seeing your abs then, you're not going to be particularly ecstatic when you drop to 7 and 6% because um, that is generally not something that's going to actually bring out your abs, right? You get a sense at 8 and 9% body fat whether or not they're actually there uh, in terms of development. So what happens is we sometimes think automatically, hey, if I diet down more and cut down more on my body fat and do more cardio and all this other stuff, that I'm going to be pleased with the, with the net reaction if I drop more body fat. And what happens is generally the opposite. You wind up losing body fat to sort of get a better sense of if your abs are uh, completely in. And the next thing you know, you wind up making yourself smaller also in every other area and then sorely disappointed when you find out that your abs don't look as good as they did when you were actually at a higher percentage of body fat. And that happens often. So if you can't get a sense of your body or your abs at 8 and 9% body fat, I don't think you're going to have a particularly better sense at 6 and lower where you start to get into sort of the dangerous body fat levels. Uh, and when I say dangerous, I don't mean diving down there for a show and then coming back up. I'm talking about remaining at that level for very long periods of time. So my suggestion isn't to actually go down further. It's to kind of stay where you are and continue to work on your abs, continue to develop them. And then at some point, you'll get a sense if they're all there. You'll be able to feel them. You'll be able to sort of see them even at that level. And then uh, if you eventually are going into a show, you can sort of uh, use a very, very uh, tempered way and a slower way of taking off the last remaining um, body fat. But you need to maintain a higher level of body fat occasionally um, because we, get, we sometimes think or we forget as uh, bodybuilding enthusiasts that 8 and 9% is already low. Um, the average person walking around does not have 8 and 9% body fat, but we think that's a number. In fact, some of us actually think that that's high. So sometimes you have to reconfigure your thinking. You can't always uh, believe that we have to maintain such a high standard uh, all the time when uh, we've developed that standard on our own, right? It isn't always the healthiest thing. For some guys to remain at 8 and 9% body fat, it really isn't uh, good for their utility. In other words, if they're athletes, uh, to stay down at that low level sometimes sort of depletes the body and makes it weaker. I can tell you that at the point in my life where I've been the most cut has actually been the point where I've actually been the most delicate, so to speak, more susceptible to colds, illnesses, uh, very physically weak um, as compared to how I was before. Um, so if you're going to actually ask one of your friends to help you move furniture, don't ask the guy with the shredded abs. Generally, he's going to be the weakest guy in the bunch. You want to ask the guy who's got a little bit of weight on him. Um, so it's just something to keep in mind. If you can't see your abs at 8 and 9%, don't dive down to the 6 and lower because you probably will wind up being disappointed. Stay at the 8 and 9% level. Continue to work on them. And we should continue to work on them all the time anyway so that when you finally unveil the last layer of fat, you're extremely happy with the net uh, result of what you see. You've done all that work. Um, so when you, when you diet down to do some kind of a show or for photographs or something, uh, you want to be happy about what you've achieved. So it may take another six months or even a year of trying to bring the abs out by really concentrating and really working on them more as compared to sh pulling everything away and then being disappointed when you don't see what you want. So, guys, I wish you all the best. Peace, love, and muscles. Visit me at VixNatural.com. Say hello on Facebook and take care of yourself. Bye.